The Millennium Country Park is 500 acres and it's in an area which historically has been about clay extraction and brick manufacture, so it's been an industrial area. And what has been created here from that background is 500 acres of woodland and, and pasture and meadows and wetlands and a fantastic area for families and for children to come and visit. Eight kilometres of cycle paths and footpaths, uh, horse trails, all sorts of places to walk and ride and places to enjoy. The volunteers are, are essential to our work. Uh, we simply couldn't work, operate without them. Well, they, as you can see, there's a group working here. They're, they're working on the sensory garden, removing um, unwanted wildflowers <laughs> or weeds. Um, but, I mean, they, there's a monthly work program here and they can get involved with working on the wetlands, um, fencing, hedge clearance, you know, hedging and things like that, and a, a whole host of things, really. Yes, the wetlands here behind me are a series of reed beds, uh, all artificially created 10 years ago to attract certain target species that were very rare in this part of the world uh, to come in and sort of use this as a stopover as they're passing through the UK. Uh, it's a fantastic area, it's really nice and tranquil, it's really good for wildlife. We've got about 80 species of bird established here over the last 10 years, so it's a great success story. It shows you what can be done in terms of regenerating a, a landscape. and. And on the back of their trade here, they're actually going to help us go and plant six to ten million more trees in the area. We wouldn't be stood here if it wasn't for the National Lottery funding. We wouldn't have been able to develop the successful social enterprise and business that we have that actually supports the rest of our charitable activities. It was, um, it was very much a godsend. Winning the National Lottery Award would be fantastic, absolutely brilliant, because it would recognise the enormous amount of hard work that goes into making these places happen. And it's, it's uh, volunteers that we've talked about who are absolutely essential, but the staff, the, the members of the local community. Without their involvement, these things don't happen, and, and it doesn't come to the sort of standard that we have.